All right, next up we have uh, Aaron Camarada. Aaron is the chief creative officer at Void Alpha. You may have seen his, his uh, interview on the Media Club podcast recently. Mm -hmm. And he's gonna be giving a talk on multiplayer gaming with Meteor. Yes, hello gang. So yes, uh, hello everyone. Um, Aaron, the Chief Creative Officer at Void Alpha. We are a uh, gaming studio over in Emeryville. And what I wanted to show you today was a, a short demo that I built. Um, I've given talks before on how to integrate Unity, which is a 3D gaming engine with Meteor, which does some very cool stuff. But recently I got an email from the folks at Meteor Montreal. Uh, they were playing with a, an engine called Pixie.js. It's a sprite engine for browsers. And so about two weeks ago I started uh, writing a demo. Um, and so why don't we check it out and see. So if you want, you can go to uh, demo.voidalpha.com. Of course, there we go. Demo.voidalpha.com. And you can go there now. It is. A demo, this is why I wanted to go to the slide, it's a demo, and when in doubt, refresh. It's pretty good about fixing itself, but you will find bugs and it lags. But what's neat about it is it's a multiplayer match three game. So here it is, and oh, now nobody's gonna play with me, come on. So what you do is swap tiles to match, you know, line up three in a row. Ah, oh, thank you, yay, we get to watch someone, there we go. So of course we're doing a, a simple meteor call uh, to do all of the moves and the server is the authoritative data source. So if there's a conflict, like two of us try to move something at the same time, uh, the, the server you know, makes the call. And um, I, I, I left it this way, it's kind of interesting. There's something in here that's quite wrong, which was alluded to in some of the earlier talks. This does not do um, uh, optimistic UI. If I make a switch, you'll even notice there's a slight delay. If I click on that, you notice it's like a quarter of a second before it does it because I actually wait for the call to come back, which is wrong. Um, I had it almost working where you would start the animation locally, which of course is the correct thing to do, uh, and then wait for the call to come back. Uh, but again, this was about one week of, of my time, nights and weekends. Um, what, I, what we have done before, this is really sort of something to give back to the community. Um, previously, I have, uh, as I mentioned, I gave a talk on integrating Unity uh, with Meteor. If you want, you can go to ump.voidalpha.com. Uh, That's Unity Meteor Pong. And uh, you can play the game, but towards the bottom there's a blog post. So if you want to dig into actual code, lessons learned, and how it actually works, uh, you can get down to the gory details, which has two links at the bottom that have the actual um, code that you can put into your Unity and Meteor clients to get those two to talk. I'm going to do a similar blog post for this, but it's not done yet. But I did one last night for Meteor Atlanta and Montreal had a meetup, and so I uh, you know, kind of uh, Skyped in with them or uh, we did a video uh, screencast. And it is online now. So if you go to YouTube and search for Meteor Gaming Talk, I'm proud to say that the top three results are mine at the moment. <laughs> and the one from last night is the top one, Meteor and Pixie JS Gaming Talk. It's about an hour long and it goes into the code uh, behind the, the tile matching game that you just saw and so on. But for the lightning talk, I just wanted to kind of put it out there. And if anyone's curious, email us and we'll be happy to help. So that's it. Questions for Aaron? It is. Uh, so the oh, sorry. The question is: Is that all Canvas? Uh, the, again, the, the challenge that was sort of handed to me through email was, um, Ro I think I'm going to mispronounce his name, Robert Persaud, I think, anyway, from the um, Meteor Montreal, he, he kind of mentioned this uh, engine, and it's, so it's a 2D, it's a WebGL renderer and it falls back to Canvas. So in your code you say, find me the renderer that works best for the browser that I'm in, and then you don't worry about it. Uh, in the one that you saw, it happens to be Canvas. Um, yeah. So, other questions? or. Yes. So does the optimistic UI uh, create a whole unique set of issues around gaming, right? Because you've made that a, a little, a little bit. Uh, the question is, does the optimistic UI create specific issues around gaming? I will say what I ran into, rather than sort of answer it in the most general case. Um, I, I had it where you know once you start a swap, the client will do the swap, make the call, and, and tell the server, "Hey, I'm, I'm making this. I think it's legit. Do you think it's legit?" And then you have to sort of deconflict that, which I had working for me, 
But then uh, to get everyone else to see my swap, that was when I flipped over and said, you know what, I should be using Meteor to do this. Meteor collections do this. And so when I make a swap and the server says, yes, that's a legit swap, it actually uses collections to, to pub sub that out. And now, as a, as a player, I, ha I get that subscription change. I get, the, you know, I get the changed event. And now I have to say, wait a minute, that was my change. So now I don't want to apply it twice. So in that sense, it was a domain-specific problem. And it was starting to get to be hairy code. And I knew that the right answer was to pull it out. And so I ran out of time, basically. Yeah. So OK. Right. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, do you have a plan to, to test like, how many players can run at the same time? Um, there's a question. Right, question about um, optimization and, and player testing, uh, load testing. Um, no, no plans. Again, this is really was a proof of concept demo. It works for two. <laughs> I've seen it work for eight. But after that, um, I would not use, again, I would use Meteor for things like the leaderboard over on the left, which is reactive, inventory in, in an RPG. But the real time stuff has to be through something other than Meteor. So use the technology for what it's good at and, and not the stuff it's not good at. All right, thank you. Cool, thank you so much, Aaron. Right